you know, we, uh, I don't think I've ever practiced. In fact, I know I haven't. I told the team today, I've never practiced 10 straight days with the team. Uh, I've never practiced for about three hours at one time with the team. So, you know, we've asked these players to do a lot physically, and I respect that. I, I really do respect the kind of work that they've given us. Um, it's not easy. So from that standpoint, I'm pleased with how it's gone. Has, has the venue been a part of that, being here in, in Rodoso and this? this, uh, this yeah, this is, this is a terrific place. I mean, this is a terrific place. I mean, the weather has been... Uh, you know, I've coached all over the country. I don't know that I've ever coached in this kind of weather before. You know, whether you're, you're in, you know, you, you could be in uh, Columbus, Ohio today, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Those places are hot and humid. Not to mention the southeast and the state of Texas or over in Arizona. You could not find better conditions in which to practice. And we need that. You know, we're a very thin football team. We're a very young football team. We need every rep we can get. So. Um, th this weather has been critical for us just to get our work done. Coach, pushing through the uh, fatigue, mental fatigue that you get in, in camp, how's that looking for your team? It, they seem to still be there mentally. Oh, we've got that. You know, we, we, we've got that. We've, we've got, you know, we're getting the kind of effort we want. Um, you know, we're getting the kind of lessons taught we want to get taught. Uh, you know, but that's not enough. You know, it's, it's not enough. You know, people think, well, uh, just because all of a sudden you have discipline or, or, or all of a sudden because you have work ethic, you know, that that means you're going to win. That's part of it. And that gives you a chance so that your practices are, are at a high enough level that you can improve. You know, but the next step for us is, is getting good enough that we can go play a football game and not be totally dependent on the other team messing it up. You know, so, so yeah, we, we, we're doing some good things. And I'll be, I, I appreciate these players. But... You know, just being a little more disciplined and, and just being a little bit more excited and energetic at practice isn't enough. You know, we, we've got to we got to start executing. Coach, what's it been like having Coach Mills with the defense and what kind of job is he? Yeah, doing you know, now? Coach Mills. Uh, from the first time I met him, um, I, I was very impressed with him. You know, he has a unique personality. Uh, you know, he's a little bit different. Maybe like New Mexico, maybe like Albuquerque. You know, he's a, he's a little bit different personality, and I mean that I mean that in a very positive way. But tremendous energy, uh, great knowledge. You know, you look where he's coached. Uh, he, he's been all over the country, and he's a tireless worker. I mean, he, he, you can talk to any one of our defensive backs. I mean, he'll stay up there all night if those players want to stay, out, stay up there. So, you know, I've been very pleased with him. I think we're very fortunate to have him. Give, I, I was going to say, given your history as a defensive coach, you, you like the – the way the defense is, is short, uh, shoring up? Which well, no, our defense is nowhere even still near. There. No, no. We're, we're, we're not even, we haven't even started. Oh, okay. We haven't even started. I'll, I'll be honest, you know, we've practiced a lot, but if we had to go out there today and try to stop somebody, we're totally dependent on them fumbling the ball or them missing an assignment. We couldn't, if we played a team today that executed, we couldn't stop them. I'll be the first one to tell you that. So, but we don't play today. Yeah, as we say, you, you know, we weekend, got we yeah. got three weeks to get it right. And, and with the kind of attitude our players are showing, the kind of attitude our our coaches are showing, you know, there's a tremendous amount of urgency. There's a tremendous amount of urgency. And, and you know, I don't take players' effort for granted. And I don't take players' coaches for granted. Their kind of effort, and we're getting that. Coach, from what I've heard, Lamar Thomas is a guy that not a lot of the guys in the secondary want to face. What kind of campus he been having? Lamar Thomas. Um, uh, has had a bit of a quad. He's a li had a little bit of a quad injury, so we slowed him down. Um, but, but he, you know, you combine what he did in spring practice and also what he's done this fall camp. You know, he's probably our most explosive player on offense. And, and the thing I've been most excited about Lamar, he gets other guys lined up. You know, he's a smart football player. He, he's got a good understanding of the scheme. So we're going to do a lot of things with Lamar. And uh, there's nobody rooting for Lamar more than I am because he's he's had some setbacks. Uh, he had to transfer like a lot of our guys have transferred in here. He's had an injury last year that took away a lot of his season. He worked really hard academically to just get himself back in a position where he's eligible to play this year. So I really want to have some good things, see some good things happen for Lamar. Coach, we got a release this morning that two players, or one player is dismissed and two have been suspended. Is there any timetable for the suspended players to come back? No, a lot depends on how people react to situations. You know, unfortunately, one player is not going to have that opportunity. Uh, he's been dismissed. But we have two players, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm big about how somebody responds. And, uh, 
Um, they would have been dismissed totally if they, if they didn't respond the way I thought they should have responded this morning when I first met with them. Coach, you've been out uh, 10 years, but you're back on the field. It doesn't look like you've missed a beat. How do you feel? I feel pretty good. You know, my, my left hamstring's a little tight. <laughs> no, you know what? It's, um, it, it's energizing. I mean, it, this is really what you do. I mean, at some point, this is what you were meant to do. And, and every year about this time for the last 10, I'd always be second-guessing myself right now. And my wife would say, how could you possibly be second-guessing yourself? Because if you were coaching, you'd be coaching. You'd be 18 hours a day. You're going from now until January or February 1st with not a day off. You know, how could you be second-guessing yourself? But that's what's the difference between someone that loves coaching and someone that doesn't. This is just kind of what we do. And I'm, I'm very fortunate to be back in this. Coach, with David Vega out, you had said earlier that he was kind of looking like he could take that backup position. Do you have any idea who might be uh, taking up that role? Uh, well, Cole Gauchy right now would probably be our number two quarterback in the game. Uh, there's some things that he does better than he does other things. So I think we'd have to have kind of a specific package for him. And then uh, Quentin McCown would be our third quarterback. But those two guys are pretty equal, you know. Uh, um, the key, obviously, is BR. You know, BR's had an outstanding camp. And, um, um, but yeah, we, we, we've, we've um, you know, we're thin everywhere. <laughs> we're thin at quarterback, too. You told me before you left, this is going to be so important to shore up the team chemistry. Does having three guys dismissed, does that have anything to do? No, I think that helps it. I'll, I'll be totally honest. I think, as I told our team two days ago, you have to get through all the superficial stuff. All the feel-good kind of stuff, the feel-good atmosphere. I mean, you got to hit rock bottom. That's when you find out about chemistry, and that's when you start developing leadership and team. It, when it's easy, it's easy. So now, I think in fa the fact that we dismissed three or we dismissed one guy and suspended two, I think that helps us. I think that helps us because, you know, when you get in that game and they start hitting you in the mouth, or all of a sudden you you lose three or four games in a row. That's what this is. You know, we, we talk all around here about sudden change and how you react to those kind of moments. Well, we're in one of those right now, so let's see. You talk about how, how they react, and it's just it's a suspension or a, a violation of team rules. Do you want to elaborate? No, I'm done talking about that. Okay, guys. All right, all right man. Thanks.